What's up everybody, I'm Donnie, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to create Key Blast. All right guys, so let's head up to the rooftop where I'm gonna record myself firing off Key Blasts and show you how this effect works. All right guys, so you're probably wondering why I would possibly want to include this part in my tutorial for how to do key blasts. Well, the whole point of us even doing these tutorials is not only to teach you how we did some of the effects in our films, but to also motivate you guys to go out and do your own cool projects. So part of that, unfortunately, is making yourself feel comfortable in really uncomfortable situations. One of the things that always stifled me from wanting to learn how to do certain effects is just frankly, it's awkward videoing yourself in public or putting a tripod up somewhere and actually hitting record and doing silly stuff like acting like there's imaginary key blasts. So that's what I'm about to do. And uh, I just wanted to see you guys to see this part of the process. So let's just get to it. All right guys, so I'm super excited to start getting into this tutorial. A lot of you guys request this one and it's one of my personal favorite. Before we get started, I do wanna give a huge shout out to these Patreon supporters. Without people like them, we couldn't be doing what we're doing today. Now, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here's a list of the plugins and assets we're gonna to use to create this effect. Video Copilot's Heat Distortion, Optical Flare, Shockwave, and Red Giant's Camera Shake. So step one, you're going to create a null object. Next, motion track the hand. Once that's done, make sure to select Edit Target and make sure your null object is selected as your next target for the tracking data, then hit Apply. Add the Aura stock asset that I've included in the link below. Set the mode to screen. Place the Aura layer over the hand and reposition it and scale it to the right size. Then parent it to the null object. Set keyframes so that the orb scales from tiny to larger. Go to the last frame of your actor throwing a key blast and set a keyframe and then move a few frames ahead and drag the layer out of frame. Select Color Vibrance and change the color to blue. Create a new adjustment layer and then create a mask in the palm of the hand. Add heat distortion and curves. Brighten the palm by bringing up the mids and add a blue tint. Hit Y on your keyboard. All right, now move the anchor point to the center of the palm. Parent the layer to the null object and adjust the opacity at the in and out points so that the layer fades in and out. Set keyframes on the mask expansion so that the mask grows as the blast emits from the hand. Next, create a new adjustment layer. Add the curves effect and use it to brighten the layer. Draw a circular mask inside the palm of the hand Feather the mask to about 25% and using keyframes, animate the mask to follow the hand. Once the hand is fully extended, animate the mask to look more like a beam of light firing from the hand. This layer should only be visible for a few frames. If the animation lasts longer than that, the blast will look slow and weak. Next, add a light. Make sure to set light type to point. Move the light to the center of the hand, and then animate it like you have with all the other layers thus far. Next, create a new solid. Name it Flare. And then add the Optical Flares effect. In the drop-down tab, select Over Original. Select Track Lights. 
Then go up to the top and select Options. Select Clear All, and then choose your own custom lens flare elements. I'll choose Glow, Multi Iris, and Streak. Set the blend mode to Screen. Set keyframes on the brightness and scale to the beginning and end where the blast will be at the darkest and brightest. And then animate the intensity of the flare to your liking. Go back to Optical Flares and set Flicker to Sharp and set Speed to 2 and Amount to 3. I noticed that part of the lens flare was still showing even after it was supposed to have been gone. So in order to fix this, I keyframed the opacity to fade out. Next, I'm going to add an asset from Video Copilot Shockwave. Set Blend Mode to Screen. Line up the shockwave to the hand. Adjust the duration of the clip to match your scene. I'm going to shrink mine down to one second. Keyframe the opacity so that it gradually fades in. Set the last keyframe to ease in. Keyframe the clip to animate to the hands movement. Apply VC Color Vibrance and add color to the shockwave. You can choose whatever color you want, but in Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope, we had Android 18s have a pink tint to it, so I'm going to go with that. Then next, we need to make it look like light is hitting the actor's face. To do this, add a new adjustment layer. Draw a mask around the face. Add the curves effect and bring up the mids. Set the feather to 24 and animate the mask to match the movement of the face. And now do the same thing for the chest area. Lastly, select all, pre-compose, be sure to select move all attributes into new composition. Add red giant camera shake, use the handheld preset, and then keyframe so that the amount of shake goes from 0 to about 35, and then back down to 0 once the blast is out of frame. Then if you want to get all crazy and cinematic, make a new solid, make it black, and then add a mask and give yourself a letterbox to make it feel more like a movie and then add some color correction to it use Lumetri color and then tweak the color however you see fit I have a preset that I'm gonna be using and there you have it alright guys that's it for this tutorial I hope you found it useful hope you enjoyed it we really love making these for you, so leave a comment down below. Let us know what kind of tutorial you want to see us make next. Maybe it's a camera tutorial. Maybe it's a lighting tutorial. Maybe it's more visual effects. Do you want to see how to do a teleportation effect, uh, instant transmission, flying, super strength, super speed, whatever it is. Let us know down below, and we will make that tutorial next. Until next time, like, share. Again, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.